Okay, so here we are back with rod doing stuff. Got another brisket today. We're going to do something a little different with this one though. We're going to separate the flat from the point and we're going to make some burnt ends. So we're going to cook them separate and make some burnt ends out of them. So I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is just trim this brisket up. We're going to get this fat off of it. Like so. And you got your two muscles here. So we're just going to come, if you can see, down between those. Right here in this fat. If you just follow that fat down. So, Just like that. So then we've got our flat here and our point here. So we're just going to take this this point. We're going to get as much of this fat off it as we can because it has a lot of this marbling and stuff in it already. It's got plenty of fat. All this is just hard fat that nobody wants to gnaw on. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, flipping it all over. Big old chunk here. Get rid of that. Okay. Just trim these fat, the hard fat. You can feel it. You want to get rid of all that. See, that's not something somebody wants to eat. So I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to trim all that off too.
just kind of get under it like that with your knife and you can cut it off pretty easy get a little bit of meat but not much one more Yeah, so you keep trimming on it. Um, but that's about how you need it to look. Just a little more right there. Okay, so we're going to call that good, I think, um, and we'll get this out on the smoker. We're just going to season it up. Just one more piece here, I guess, I ought to get off. It's pretty hard. Thought I had this side, but I guess not. Okay, so there we are. That's what's left of our point after we trimmed it up. So we're going to go ahead and trim this flat up. You've seen the way I do that. I'm just going to trim some of this fat off here. Trim some of it off the back side here down to about a quarter inch. And then we'll cook it along with this point. So we'll get that trimmed up and then we'll come back and show you how we season it. Okay, so we got it all trimmed up. This is that point. So we've got most of the fat off of it. This is the flat. We got it trimmed down to a quarter inch there. Just gonna season that up and cook them both at the same time. So we're gonna take some of our Worcestershire sauce, put on there. We'll use that as a binder. Help the rub stick a bit. I'm just gonna season these today. I've got this garlic pepper, McCormick. It's got pepper and salt and garlic in it what it has and it hasn't been opened I use this on all my briskets I really like it I use, some people just use salt and pepper I like a little bit of garlic on there too and so this is a good blend that gives you pretty much all that so I put it on there pretty heavy get the edges here we'll get this flat just like so pat it in just a little then we're going to come back with this hardcore carnivore black. It's uh, basically activated charcoal. It's got some salt in it, some garlic, sugar. But I really like the, on the brisket, this gives it a really dark, awesome looking bark on it. I really like that dark look it gives it as much as the flavor that, give, that it gives. It gives an awesome appearance to the brisket so just about like so pat that in too same thing on this one just like so okay so we're gonna flip these over season the other side just like we did this side so we don't need to show you that and then we'll meet you out at the grill and get these smoking okay guys so we're out here at the Louisiana grill we've got our brisket all seasoned up and we're gonna get it put on we're running it at 250 degrees today we've got some lumberjack pellets in there it's a competition blend that's what I usually use just because it's easy then I don't have to switch them out all the time and I can't tell a huge difference between the different types of wood. So we have our 
point here. We're going to put it down on this end furthest away from the heat there because it's thinner. We're going to take our flat, put it up here, and we're going to lay this. If you want it to look a certain way when it's cooked, you kind of want to lay it out that way in the grill. Okay, so we're going to close this thing up. It's going to roll for probably three or four hours at that temperature. Then we'll get those out and we'll show you what we do from there. We'll wrap the flat up to the point we're going to put in a pan with some other stuff. And uh, we'll go to there and show you what's going on from there. Okay, so these have been on for about four hours, four to five hours, about five hours now I guess it's been. So they're looking pretty good. You can see they've got that bark on them. So we're going to pull them off, wrap them. We're going to get this point off here. Take a couple paper towels so it doesn't burn my hand. See how much that's shrunk down. And we're just going to take these inside and we'll show you how we wrap them up. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up. We're going to take this point, we're going to put it in this pan, and then we're going to put about a quarter quarter of this can of beef broth in there. Well, we'll go with about half, I guess. That looks good, we don't need a lot. Just a little moisture in there. We're gonna cover it up. This is gonna make this thing just as tender as can be. We'll cook it to about 210. Then we'll pull it out, cube it up, put some sauce on our burned end, we'll be good to go. You might wonder why I just didn't cook it all together. Well, this way, you get more bark all the way around your burned end. So you get a better bark on it, and it just uh, makes it so you have more flavor in there. Okay, so now we're gonna wrap this flat up. I'm just gonna place it here. Let's see, Actually, let's start with it this way. But we will have our sandwich on the bottom. Just gonna wrap it in some pink butcher paper. Just like I always do. You can check out my other videos on brisket. Cooking a whole brisket, the whole packer bit brisket. And see how I do it when I'm doing the whole brisket. like that and then we'll put that back on the grill out there just like that so we'll get out there and put this stuff back on there okay so we're just going to get these back on the grill we're going to leave that at 250 flat back on there we're going to take our probe and stick it right there in that thickest part to, like I say, 205, 210, somewhere in there, we'll be good to go. All right, so we were just checking on that uh, point, and it's uh, looking really good. It's at, uh, let's see, Two hundred four, two hundred five, depending on where you check it. So it's ready. I can feel it pushes in real easy. There's no resistance, so it's ready to come off. We're going to take that in and cube it up into our burn ends. And we'll show you what we do from there. Okay, so we got them all tossed in the sauce. We're just going to throw them back in here. Let that sauce set up on them. About 15 minutes good to go. Okay, been in there 15 minutes. Pull these things out. Oh yeah, look at that. We're going to take those inside. 
Okay, so we got this in the house. We're gonna get it out of this oil pan. And what we're gonna do is, man, that thing is falling apart. I hope we can slice it. You gotta get you a good sharp knife. Slice it into strips first. gonna take these cut them into bite-sized pieces just like so see all how juicy this is these are gonna be really good in this pan hold the part a bit there slice that one you have to be careful that you with the knife or they'll just fall apart these back in here we're gonna put just a little teeny bit of this beef broth in with them and then we're gonna take we have this candied uh, jalapeno barbecue sauce I've used this on ribs and stuff I really like it so we're gonna put a little bit of that on there like so and we're just gonna put them back on the grill for about 15 minutes and they'll be good to go